I feel like I could. Like I could. Take, take on take the world. world. And that is how I feel every time Apple Computers gives me a small amount of freedom to do the thing I want to do with the device that I purchased. This is about an application though, not the recent changes in EU regulations. And since it's about an application, I'd recommend installing it sooner rather than later if you're interested in it. Apple has a history of revoking applications using emulators or virtual machines. In the past, I covered iDOS, a DOSBox 0.74 port that was once available on the App Store. It generally ran well, and I went as far with it as installing and running a barebones Windows 98 install in it. But due to Apple's restrictions, iDOS was limited in connectivity, and it was a little cumbersome to use. But that's sort of a moot point now, since I believe it's been entirely discontinued after being removed from the App Store. But you're not entirely out of luck, at least not when it comes to many popular games. ScumVM is a set of virtual machines, or re-implementations of game engines, that uses the game's original data files to run on a huge number of platforms, including the PS Vita, Wii, Switch, and for some reason there's even a Dreamcast build. I guess for the rare scenario where one owns a Sega Dreamcast and a TV, but not a $30 Android tablet. ScumVM has been on the Play Store for years, and most of the ScumVM games will run pretty well on a modestly powered Android device, even though some of the more modern games like Blade Runner may struggle a bit. But I have an iPad that I don't really use, and a nice Zag keyboard folio cover that kind of turns it into a lightweight mini laptop with a really great screen but I don't really want to wrestle with installing the alt store, app store, and sign loading unsigned IPA files right now. I just kind of want a thing that works. So what to do if I want ScumVM running on my older iPad that's just collecting dust right now? Well, I just go to the app store. Yeah, it's that simple. ScumVM is on the Apple app store now. So you download it, install it, copy over your game data files, add your games, and then play. So let's take a look at the ScumVM application, setting it up and a few useful tweaks for gaming, and see how some of the games are running. After installing ScumVM from the App Store, the next step is adding games. The ScumVM wiki has a full list of supported games, and under each entry for the nearly 500 titles, you'll find the info on what data files are required. Generally speaking, if there's a GOG or Steam release that's a source port, the game data files will work fine on ScumVM. For abandoned word titles, I'd suggest looking at archive.org software archives, which you can find by clicking on the floppy disk icon on the main archive.org page, or take a look at myabandonware.com if you want to browse a curated archive with a nice interface and a few community features. Playing on something like an iPad is great because a lot of the older games used esoteric copy protection schemes. Being able to have PDFs of scanned manuals open in another application tab is almost as good as being able to crack open a paper copy in front of you. To transfer games, you can use a few methods. Either direct download a zip archive of the data files to your device and use the Files app to extract and move the data files to your ScumVM application folder, or use a computer with iTunes and connect your device, select it, open the list of installed apps with file sharing, select ScumVM, and then drag and drop the data files into the ScumVM folder. If you've ended up filling up your iPad with games, you can delete files by selecting the file in the File Explorer and just hitting the Delete key. Once the data files are on your device, fire up ScumVM and look for the Add Games button on the side. There's a little arrow to select Mass Add, and you can hit that, and it'll scan the entire ScumVM directory for the added games. Duplicates will be ignored, and all the supported variant additions will be found and added. And that's really all it takes to make a game playable in ScumVM on iOS. And honestly, most games play pretty well out of the box. And that's the case for ScumVM on pretty much every device I've used it on other than my low-powered PS Vita, which can sometimes take a little fiddling, and doesn't do well with the more modern games like Blade Runner. One thing that may be a little off-putting is how the mouse pointer is handled on the touchscreen. By default, you'll need to drag the pointer around with your finger, but it's a quite a different movement than just using a mouse. There's an option to alter pointer behavior to touchpad emulation, so the pointer drops wherever your finger drops, but I find it a little inaccurate sometimes with the pointer jumping around or not being sensed where my fingertip is. I'm much more comfortable using a mouse, so I've paired an extra cheap Bluetooth mouse with the iPad. It's enabled and supported by default in ScumVM, so once it's connected, you should be able to move the mouse pointer as expected. 
ScumVM has an on-screen keyboard that can be brought up with the shortcuts that are enabled by default, and the screen keys will usually appear anytime there's a dialog box in-game as long as you don't have an external keyboard connected, such as the Bluetooth keyboard case I'm using here. But if you want a more PC-like experience, there are a few options you can tweak. With a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse connected, you gain a bit of screen space by disabling the on-screen controls. A downside to doing that is losing easy access to the ScumVM backend controls that allow quick saving, loading, or exits to the game selection menu. To get around that, under the Global Options Key Maps tab, I've added a keyboard shortcut for the ScumVM menu as an exclamation point, since that's basically never entered in any game. Normally the shortcuts are function keys, but my Bluetooth keyboard doesn't seem to send proper keyboard function key presses, or I haven't figured out the esoteric incantation and finger press combination to trigger PC function key emulation. And if you're really set on pretending it's 1994, under the Global Options Graphics tab, you can download a shader pack with many dozens of options to choose from. The download may go very slowly or seem to fail though. There is a button to hide the download, and it'll continue and auto-extract in the background when completed. You can play games while it downloads, and after it's done, use the drop-down list to select a shader. Game entries have overrides for global settings, so you can use filters or shaders on games where they're appropriate. Personally, for something like ScumVM, I'm not a big fan of shaders. The only place they look good to me is on 16-bit or prior console and arcade games for the nostalgia feel. But you might want to use some of the filters if you're playing a lot of text adventure games through ScumVM. They do clean up the text a little. If they're your thing, the filters and shaders work really well on ScumVM on iOS, but I like the normal pixelization. I've tried quite a few games on the iOS ScumVM build so far, but nothing close to approaching all of them, or even a good sampling of the supported engines. So far the only game I've run into any major issues with is Twinsons Odyssey, which crashes to desktop during the intro video. Also, the controls are just bizarre and I can't figure out a good way to map them to something sensible, but I vaguely recall it having awful controls when I played it like 20-25 years ago. Certain games have menu save and load restrictions. Phantasmagoria and Simon the Sorcerer come to mind. You'll need to use the in-game menu to save and load games when the game is loaded, but you can speed load a previous save from the main ScumVM menu. If you're a fan of classic point-and-click or text adventure games and have a device running iOS or iPadOS, Hello? I'd recommend racing over to the Apple App Store as soon as possible to install ScumVM. I don't anticipate the ScumVM project having any problems on the App Store because it's so developed and well-known and requires original game data files to run the interpreters or virtual machines, but sometimes Apple seems to spitefully lash out and remove an app for no good reason at all. I feel a lot of people missed out on IDOS when it was available, but hopefully this will somewhat fill the gap for now. Well, that's all I wanted to cover today. Hit subscribe or leave a comment if you want to see more of whatever this is. Also, if you have any feedback related to ScumVM Gaming on Apple devices, let me know, and if I do a follow-up, I can try to work it in. That's all for now, thanks for watching, and as always, stay human.